As she and her husband arrived at the island's botanical gardens to see the newly formed, Vander William Catherine, for the first time, everyone's attention was on Kate and her stunning pastel pink kimono style attire. Lynn Choi, the daughter of Mrs. Annie Choi, the hotel's director of marketing, gave the Duchess a bouquet of yellow, white, and pink orchids. The Duchess laughed along with the female staff members in the lineup for introductions, as they remarked on the similar orchids on her outfit. They are gorgeous, thank you, she replied. It had been a very long flight, but we're so glad to be here, the Duke of Cambridge told the crowd waiting to be welcomed. A white orchid named after William's late mother was displayed to the Duke and Duchess there. Diana, Princess of Wales, had been thrilled that the flower was named in her honour, but two weeks before she was scheduled to go to see it, she her away in a car accident in Paris. The outfit, which was created for her by British designer Jenny Packham, was covered in tiny orchids that, according, took a group of talented artists at Chelsea Studio de Gournay eight weeks to create. The Packham crew exclaimed, she looked gorgeous, and we are all very proud. Although throngs of spectators dripping with perspiration, William and Kate in suits didn't appear to be feeling the heat. The couple didn't enter the nation until 2.50 p.m. at Singapore's Changi Airport, which was half an hour later than anticipated. They then went directly to the gardens. Kate looked stunning in the pink kimono dress, and had her hair fixed by her personal hairdresser, who Prince Charles had hired for her for £300 per day for the rest of the visit, despite her lengthy 14-hour flight. At their first engagement in Singapore, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge admire an orchid named after Prince William's mother Diana, Princess of Wales. In honour of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, the Duke and Duchess have begun a nine-day trip to Southeast Asia and the South Pacific. After spending three days in Singapore, they will take a private plane to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, then to Borneo before continuing on to the remote Tuvalu and the Solomon Islands, both of which still proudly claim the Queen as their head of state. The Princess Diana Dendrobium Memoria orchid finally received the royal nod. It's lovely, William muttered. Has she ever visited Singapore? When the CEO of the garden, Poon Hong Yuan, described the terrible tale, the prince remarked, it's a shame since it's beautiful. He couldn't help but make a joke about his own orchid, a free-flowering hybrid with white petals covered in purple patches that resemble the leopard print, claiming that it suited his wife's dress. Since she wore a different flowery dress in white and lilac for a state supper at the Astana as a guest of the nation's president, Kate received more flowers in the evening.